Right, I wanted to get to the dashboard. Now, similar to the risk register, we can actually uh, just grab a whole bunch of projects and and add them in so we can get all our data centers, for instance, um, wherever they all are. And that's Finland and London, let's add those in. And then hit the refresh, reload. So we now get an appraisal a dashboard for all of the projects that uh, we're able to see. And this is going to give us some uh, insight into performance of the different projects. It's also going to give us some trends. It's going to give us some aggregation. So it's going to be a bit of a mixed bag. Now, the dashboard is set up to have these widgets by default. If you don't like them or you don't think they're helpful, you can toggle them off so they're not in your view. So if you don't care about risk status and st such things like this kind of output here is really useful at the beginning of a project. At the beginning, you want to see a trend of hundreds of unapproved risks moving through to some kind of approved or rejected closed kind of status. And similarly, you're going to want to see lots of opportunities at the start. But three years into a project, is that going to metric that helpful? Honestly, I don't know it is. So you might, you know, as time moves on, contexts change and things become more or less helpful at different stages in project life cycles. So just because you can see these widgets doesn't mean you always will need to. Um, but yeah, you can toggle those on and off as required. So there's a bit of customization there. OK, so customize the date, the, the dashboards, the widgets. Um, I, I like that we capture uh, status on close out of risk. Now, these kind of statuses can all be customized, of course. So there's a, a, a back end administration piece where you would say, well, look, this is how our organization consistently deals with this so that we can actually generate insights over time rather than having unstructured data. So it's important to, have to <coughs> think about this at the start. Uh, someone like myself, Mark Turner, would help people uh, think this through about what kind of things would help them as a team or an organization. Um, and then they can get some feedback, you know, some insights into that. Um, so for instance, we've just set this up for risk occurred or it didn't occur. Um, it could be that you want to look at the luck factor. Like, I think it would be quite insightful to go, well, do you know what? We actually implemented all the control measures that we were legally expected to um, put in place, but also a whole bunch of other things that we thought and dreamt up ourselves. We thought they were really novel. And then you might want to have some statuses about how effective were those? Were they, were they mm. helpful? Would you recommend them? Is there is there further lessons? Is there further? What would you want to communicate? Mm. So being able to see something more interesting um, is the kind of the key here. Otherwise, why are we bothering to put people through? As I said, this kind of risk administration system, if it's not providing, it's got to provide value in the immediate, right? Mm -hmm. Help you see which out of a hundred risks you've got or which of them in Pareto terms are kind of the, the the big hitters and just focus your limited time, your limited resources on specifically fewer things to be more targeted and more, more effective. Um, and then at the that's during the project life cycle. And then you also want to have some sort of feedback to the head office that says, yeah, actually we found a new way of doing something, a novel practice, and report that back into the head office that can then review that suggestion. And they can look at the success of um, a novel approach to managing risk that went over and above the control measures that they had mandated previously mm -hmm. on all their projects. And it might be that something feels out of date, needs updating, or there's a completely new way of doing something. And that feedback loop kind of comes into its own to uh, enhance future projects. So, so as I was saying, it's two things. How does it help me on this project? How does it help future projects?